Lakes are really nice. But always remember, they can be very deep, so never swim out too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 Penny, <laughs> <laughs> wait for me! Farms are great fun to visit, but just like the city, you still have to be careful. Never play on or near any kind of farm equipment. It's much too dangerous, even when it's not operating. Well... Farm animals are a lot more interesting anyway, Uncle Gadget. But you should be as careful with livestock as you are with any other animals. Uncle Gadget, I think you're going the wrong way. I was certain I turned clean. Or was it right? I know. I should turn straight. No? Maybe straight left. Straight right? Remember, Penny, circus stunts are for circus pros. They take years of practice. That's why they look so easy. We kids should never take unnecessary risks on our bicycles. Always walk your bicycles across streets and intersections. And when riding at night, be sure to wear something white so people can see you. And that goes for skateboards and scooters, too. Uncle, you better be careful, too. Don't worry. I have the situation well in hand. I'm sure glad to be home again. How was your trip, Uncle Gadget? I've been doing a lot of airplane travel, Penny, and I've learned some valuable points to remember. You mean airplane safety for the passenger? Right. First, try not to fly when you're not feeling well. Secondly, read all the safety literature the flight personnel tell you to read. It could save your life in the event of an accident. And lastly, and this is for you, Brain, always make sure your animals travel in the designated areas set aside for pets. But what about him? Well, Penny, he can sit anywhere he wants. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do with the rest of your vacation, Uncle Gadget? Penny, I'm going back to the city for a little peace and quiet. Staying in shape is harder than I thought. From now on, I'm going to take it a little bit at a time. But, Uncle, you got fresh air and exercise. Don't you feel better for it? Yes, Penny, but you don't have to come all the way to the country to improve your health. You can start in your own home. Exercise daily. I think I'll jog to work every morning. And maybe I'll go swimming once a week. I could exercise my gadgets, but Dr. Claw lets me do that all the time. <laughs> Gee, Uncle Gadget, I'm so proud of you. Yes, Penny, as I always said, it's an amazing thing what an alert mind can do. And what is one of the best ways to stay alert, Penny? Uh, nutrition, proper food. That's right, Penny. A good mind and a healthy body is a necessity. Take swimming, for example. Swimming is good for every part of your body. Back, shoulders, arms, and legs. But Uncle Gadget, the pool doesn't have any water. See, Penny? Constantly alert. Oh, Uncle Gadget, it's like paradise up here. Yes, but one careless match could turn it into a disaster area. We must be very careful with fire. But what if we were camping? We'd need a fire. Well, I'd keep the fire very small and have a bucket of water nearby at all times. How do you make sure it's out? When no smoke or glowing coals are visible, then you're safe to walk away. I guess it's much better to play it safe. Right, Penny. It only takes a few minutes. A forest takes a lifetime to grow back again. I hope you weren't too disappointed about the prize, Uncle Gadget. You drove a great race. You know, Penny, it's funny, but I don't remember anything about it. 
That is funny. <laughs> it sure is. But here's something everyone should remember. Always buckle your seatbelts, just like all race drivers do. And don't bother the driver. Driving takes concentration. And most of all, don't drink strange drinks before you go driving. <laughs> How do you want your hot dog, Penny? Well done, please. Coming up. Wowzers. Go, go, Gadget Water Gun. Are you okay, Uncle Gadget? You should have used these. Right, Penny. You can never be too careful around fire. Remember, first aid for minor burns means placing the burned area in cold water. But not running water. Or cover the burn with a clean wet cloth, towel, shirt, or bandage and get out. Now, how about medium rare? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you reminded him to be careful with his electrical equipment. Never to touch the plugs with his fingers. Right. And make sure things are off before you plug them in. And make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything electrical. Oh, wow, wow. One, two, three, four, four. You know, Penny... Sometimes it's nice to get away from it all. And there are a few things we should all remember when we travel from home. Make sure you always dress warm enough. Make sure you take a little medical kit, just in case. Give yourself time to do all the things you want to do, so you won't exhaust yourself. And always be prepared. Go, go, Gadget Laser! Oh. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now to get out of this. Cast iron kimono. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? All right. I'm fine. Just fine. You took an awful fall out there. Let's just say I learned my lesson. I should have checked that rope myself. But you don't understand. Someone cut the rope. Who would do that? They seem so friendly. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Water safety is very important. Never stand up in a boat to wade. Always sit in the middle of the boat seat. Here's a lifesaver for each of us to wear. Good girl. But Uncle Gadget, even if I fall in, I can swim very well. And so can Brain. Even so, it's difficult to estimate how close the shore is sometimes. And if you do capsize, cling to your boat. It'll be easier for your rescuers to find you. And if you must bring a dog along, make sure he knows how to sit still. Right, Penny. Well, Penny, we'll be going home soon. Did you enjoy New York City? I sure did, but I'm glad we brought Brain's leash. Yes, Penny. In a city, it is always good to walk your dog on a leash. Do you know why? Well, that way the owner can keep their dog out of trouble. Right, Penny. City streets are very dangerous. A dog without a leash could get stolen or even hit by a car. Oh, that would be awful. That's why we always keep Brain on a leash. We wouldn't want anything to happen to him. We sure wouldn't, because we really need him. More than you imagine. Hmm. The bulb's burned out. No problem, Penny. Be careful, Uncle. Most accidents happen at home. 
That's right, Penny. So always use a sturdy ladder. Loose carpets can cause nasty falls. Right again. <laughs> Wowzers! Uh -oh. Uncle! You forgot to turn off the power. Uh, I was just giving you a demonstration of what can happen if you don't. Would you believe I was practicing my swan dive? <laughs> You were wonderful, Uncle Gadget. I knew it from the start, Penny. There are no such things as Martians. Those people were from Venus. You could also say that I was very lucky, Penny. How's that? Roller skates can be dangerous things. I was taking a big chance not wearing knee and elbow pads. Everyone should remember to wear the proper safety equipment, whether they are working or participating in sports. Eyeglasses with plastic safety lenses and protective eye goggles. And safety helmets are especially important. Uncle Gadget? And be sure to put them away when you're finished with them. Holy feathers, what a mess! It's just like I tell you at home, Penny. You have to make sure to pick up after yourself. Even a child's tricycle could be dangerous if it's left out on the sidewalk. Yes, sir. I'd really like to talk to the idiot who caused this mess. Excuse me, sir. Is that your van? Why, yes, it is my van. Hmm. How on earth did it get there? to think of the desert as just a big beach without water. And a lot more sand. Speaking about sun and beach, there are a few things I'd like you to remember, Penny. I bet we can guess what they are. Right, Brain? <laughs> Long exposure to the sun's rays can be harmful. To avoid sunburn, always wear a hat. And keep your body covered. And don't hesitate to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. <laughs> And always remember to leave your pets at home. One, two, one, two, getting in shape. That's a good idea. I'll join you. January, February, March, April, May. You know, Uncle, your fast reflexes saved our lives today. What would have happened if we'd been out of shape? Well, Penny, exercise gives you a lot more than good reflexes. It helps maintain good health and gives you a lot of extra energy. <laughs> of course, it pays to know your limitations. <laughs> Trains sure are fun, aren't they, Uncle Gadget? They sure are, Penny, as long as you observe the rules. Don't run in the aisles or bother other people. And never play around railway tracks. And always obey the flashing lights and crossing boundaries at railway crossings. And never ride between cars. <laughs> or on the roof. <laughs> That's for sure. The best place is inside the train. Believe me, I know. But I can still think of better places to be. <laughs> what are you making, Uncle Gadget? I'm just chopping up some wild parsley I found at Mr. Greenfinger's place. Does it have green glossy compound leaves of three leaflets each? And little white berry-like fruit? Yes, that's the stuff. Uncle Gadget? That's poison ivy. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that dangerous. Well, it certainly is itchy, Penny. It says calamine lotion will help that. I'll be right back. You were right, Penny. It works like a charm. What's that smell, Uncle Gadget? Yuck. <laughs> it's called breakfast, Penny. I learned a lot about nutrition at the Space Center. They said breakfast was the most important meal of the day. It increases your general energy level and promotes better health. 
using a variety of foods encourages the breakfast habit. Oh, no. The grapefruit is burning. <laughs> Boy, I really like Africa, Uncle Gadget. We certainly got some good pictures. Never go exploring in strange places unless you're properly prepared. Right. Whether it's a jungle or someplace near a home, make sure you know where you are and carry the proper equipment. And the biggest thing of all, if you take a guide, make sure he's not one of Dr. Claw's agents. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Gadget? Medicine, especially for brain. A prescription from his veterinarian. Good, because we should never take any kind of medicine on our own. Always let parents or doctors decide what kind and how much you need. Medicine is only good if used properly. You know, Penny, there's one thing better for a cold than medicine. What's that, Uncle Gadget? Not getting it in the first place. Shoo! What is it, Brain? Uncle Gadget, you scared Brain. Sorry, Penny. But when using spray cans, you should always protect your eyes and be careful of the fumes. And remember to work in a well-ventilated room. Right, Uncle Gadget? Yes, those fumes can be harmful. You should never try to puncture an aerosol can. It could explode. It says here that heat can also make it explode. And always remember to point the nozzle in the right direction. Oh, I'm not going to bother. Uncle Gadget, if you can't do it yourself, get someone to help you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, remember to watch the sign. And do up your seatbelt. And always use your seatbelt when driving in a car. <laughs> Like they say, buckle up! And always obey your stewardess. <laughs> that was wonderful, Uncle Gadget. I read all about how you saved Yetzanistan from mad in the papers. It was nothing, Penny. Here's your orange shoes. But I learned one thing. What's that, Uncle Gadget? You should adjust your eating habits if you're spending a lot of time in the sun. You mean by drinking lots of water-based things like fruit juice? That's right. When I was in the desert, all I wanted was a glass of lemonade. Uncle Gadget, you didn't get a cup. Actually, Penny, I don't want to see another glass of lemonade for a long, long time. Kids, let me tell you before I forget. You have to be very careful in underground places. It's easy to get lost. I know that, Uncle Gadget. You should never go exploring by yourself and always make sure someone knows where you are. That's the most important thing of all. And if you ever happen to run into a ghost, keep running. <laughs> like brain? A ghost! <laughs> Guess what, Uncle Gadget? No cavities! That's wonderful, Penny. We have to learn to take care of our teeth. I ate a lot of very sweet chocolate in Holland, but I always remembered to brush my teeth. Brushing is good, but we should still have regular checkups. I don't need to, Penny. 
My teeth have never given me any trouble. Oh, wowzers. I must have chipped one on those hard chocolate centers. Right this way, Inspector Gadget. I don't think... Ooh. Oh. Okay, Penny, when we want to keep fit, what's the first thing we do? We always warm up our muscles before we start exercising. Look at Brain Uncle Gadget, he's cheating. Uncle Gadget, you're cheating too. That's just to remind you not to take shortcuts when getting in shape. You're only fooling yourself if you do. That's right. And now we'd better run. It sure feels good to run on solid ground. <laughs> <laughs> coincidence that you should be in Hong Kong, too. Rain and I, um... Uh... Are just in time for lunch. That's it! I hear the food is great at this floating restaurant. <laughs> no matter how delicious any food is, stuffing yourself can be too much of a good thing. That's right, Uncle Gadget. Because if you're greedy, you may end up looking like my best friend, the blimp. I, I mean, brain. <laughs> <laughs> the Shaw Freelance sure was grateful to you for saving him, Uncle Gadget. He certainly was, honey. Now, if I can just get this gas lamp to work, we can enjoy the evening outside. No, Uncle! <laughs> Are you all right? Of course. But let this be a lesson to you. Never take chances when it comes to gas. That's right. Whether it's a gas stove or lantern, let an adult operate it. And make sure that person knows what they're doing. You're great, Uncle Gadget. It comes from years of practice singing in the shower. Yodel lady, yodel lady. Oh, look, Uncle Gadget. That man's making pizza crusts. Wowzers. That looks easy. I think I'll try, which reminds me. What should we remember to do before we handle food? We should wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> Another successful mission, Penny. Found the oceanographers. And brought home some nice fresh lobsters. Eating lobsters is an art, Penny. You need these special crackers to break the shell. Bowsers! <laughs> It's just a small cut. Small cuts and scratches need first aid, too. Right, Penny. Gently wash them with soap and running water to get rid of the germs. A drop of iodine will make sure. And always apply a clean bandage. And just to be on the safe side, let's get a pizza. Achoo! Achoo! Temperature. Penny, how did we catch brains cold? It's easy to catch colds, Uncle Gadget. Yes, always cover your mouth when you sneeze. Never drink out of someone else's glass. And always use disposable tissues. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gee, go here's a story about you in the Metro News. The world-famous Inspector Gadget stopped a revolution in Piano Stand. Well, the king had a bad image, Penny. What are you doing, Uncle? I thought I'd make a salad. But, Uncle, those are old vegetables. Well, let me just taste this tomato. <gasps> 
Brain, what are you doing? Brain's right, Uncle. You should never eat food that looks bad or has been sitting for a long time. You could get food poisoning. Hmm, that's why. Why what? Why they were throwing food in piano stand. I thought it was a vegetable festival. Land ho, Captain. It's Pirate Island. Get some wind in those sails, sea dog. <laughs> Uncle Gadget. I saw the skull and crossbones and thought pirates were invading. That symbol doesn't always mean pirates, Uncle Gadget. That's right, Penny. It's also used to indicate poison. If you see this sticker on bottles around the home... Stay away from them. They mean poison. Of course. Why would they put pirates in a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Penny, I learned a few things taking that refresher course at the police academy. Something about new bicycles, Uncle Gadget? Sort of, Penny. It really pays to have your vehicle in top shape, whatever it is. Make sure your brakes work properly. And carry a back reflector and a light in the front. Well, it's all finished, Penny. You go first, Uncle Gadget. Thank you, Penny. Huh? And one last thing. If you're not mechanically inclined, take it to a qualified mechanic. Yes, honey, we all need regular checkups. But do I have to get a needle, Uncle Gadget? You certainly do, Penny. This assignment taught me the importance of vaccinations. Did you know that some diseases have actually disappeared since shots were introduced? Oh, that didn't hurt at all. It's our duty to be vaccinated for the safety of everyone. You're next, Inspector. <laughs> yes, of course. We must consider other people's health as well as our own. Okay, Doctor, I'm ready. I bet this kite goes higher than the last one, Penny. I can hardly wait. Come on, Brain. <laughs> Wow, look at it go! Penny, wait! Go, go, Gadget Arms! Remember to always check for power lines, Penny. If strings on kites touch the wires, electricity can flow right down the strings. Now, run to the other end of the field. I'll make sure the kite gets a good send-off. Go, go, Gadget Legs! To be safe, stay away from power lines and... Trees. I predict a visitor. Hi, Uncle Gadget. We're playing gypsies. It's okay to play. Whoops. But you should clean up after, or something might happen. I think we got the message, Uncle Gadget. Leaving toys out can cause accidents. So it's better to put them away as soon as you're finished with them. Right, Brain? <laughs> that goat milk yogurt has made me so peppy. Just like those old folks in the mountains. But all elderly people aren't as energetic as their younger friends. Let me help you, madame. So when you see one of our precious senior citizens on a street... Lend a hand. The smile you get will be worth it. can't see any at all. See any what, Uncle Gadget? Mayans, Penny. Oh, Uncle Gadget, there haven't been any Mayans around for hundreds of years. Hmm, I wonder. Whoa. Ouch! Well, now you know why there are no Mayans around anymore. Some Mayan left this rock on the stairs, 
and it caused an accident. Never leave anything sitting on the stairs. It could cause a nasty fall, even hundreds of years later. Ow! <laughs> Dairy products. <laughs> Cheese, butter, and milk have a lot of vitamins and protein. Precisely my own feelings, Penny. <sighs> dairy products are important to everyone's diet. Milk and dairy products are good for kids of all ages. That's why I've invested in our health. We always need milk. So I bought a cow. <laughs> go, go, moo cow. The ancient Greeks hid inside the Trojan horse. And when the Trojans took it into the city, the Greeks jumped out and destroyed Troy. You can see why it's not a good idea to accept gifts from strangers. Right, or to open the door to someone you don't know. Is that where we get the expression, beware of Greeks bearing gifts? Hmm, probably. But it seems more like it was a case of gifts bearing Greeks. sure was a nice vacation spot, Uncle. Yes, but it's nice to be back at good old Metro City. <gasps> what? Are you all right, Uncle? Yes, but let this be a lesson. Never ride with unlocked doors. Or with your hand, arm, or dog out of the window. <laughs> Thanks to you, Uncle Gadget, the Funny Money Gang is back behind bars. That poor Mr. Squint couldn't see a thing without his glasses. Uncle Gadget, do you think you might need glasses? Of course not, Penny. You should always have a light on when you read. Ah, that's better. And you should never watch television in the dark. Yes, Penny, our eyes are very important to us. We should take special care of them. I still think you should have your eyes examined. And I thought I was reading Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Uncle Gadget, you saved the entire Air Force from Dr. Claw's clutches. There was nothing to it. <laughs> Just a simple crash landing, Penny. I was fully prepared. We can never be fully prepared for accidents, Uncle Gadget. But remembering a few things can certainly help. Like knowing where the first aid kit and fire extinguisher are. And also having telephone numbers handy, like the fire and police departments. But most important, carry lots of flight insurance. <laughs> Nothing like a cold glass of water. What's this? The plumbing's not working. I'll get to the bottom of this. What are you doing, Uncle Gadget? I'm fixing the clogged pipes, Penny. But, Uncle Gadget, I turned off the main valve. The dripping taps were wasting water. That was a good idea, Penny. Water is very valuable. We shouldn't waste it. Shall I call a plumber, Uncle Gadget? Yes, Penny. Maybe he can get me out of this. <laughs> well, I sure learned my lesson about hitchhiking. What's that, Uncle? It's dead. Uh, shoot! It's dangerous. I know. You should never ride with strangers. You're right, Penny. But in this case, it was dangerous for the driver. The doctor almost had a terrible accident. I hope he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Don't worry, Uncle. I'm sure he'll be well taken care of. <laughs> what an interesting bridge. Yes, it is, but be careful on it. Don't try to cross once the warning light goes on. Oh, look, Uncle Gadget. And the same goes for any dangerous crossing. Bridges, railroads, or streets. That's right. It's better to wait a bit than take chances. That's funny. I don't see any boats coming. There's one, Uncle. <laughs> oh, sir. I must say, I've seen more impressive rigs in my day. So you destroyed Dr. Claw's weather machine and completed another successful mission. That's right, Penny. What's wrong with Brain? You think he spent the weekend climbing mountains instead of me? Tell me more about Tibet, Uncle Gadget. The land of mystery. The only mystery to me is why my feet are so sore. Improper footwear. When hiking or climbing, you should always wear a pair of sturdy hiking boots. I guess proper footwear is important. Our feet aren't as durable as we sometimes think. <laughs> you can say that again. What are you doing, Uncle Gadget? I'm installing the last solar panel, Penny. Be careful, Uncle. Don't worry, Penny. This safety belt will save me if I slip. Good. Go, go, Gadget screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was close. Remember, kids, when playing on slides or swings, you won't have any safety belts. So don't ever take chances. Mm. Maybe we'll just forget the solar heating and go south for the winter. Are you going to fix the garage door, Uncle Gadget? It's only jammed. I'll fix it later. That's nothing compared to the repairs needed at the first penny mansion. Say, race you to the house. Go, go, gadget skates. Wowzers. Uncle Gadget, are you okay? Yes, Penny. It doesn't take much to cause an accident. That's right, Uncle Gadget. Proper home maintenance means fixing something as soon as it's broken. And that's why I fix this door now instead of later. <laughs> well, you've solved another case, Uncle Gadget. That was the easy part. The hard part was getting my coat repaired. Oh, look, Penny. That poor little doggie's lost. Hello there. Wow. Wowzers. This should teach us all a lesson, Penny. That's right, Uncle Gadget. Never try to pet strange dogs or animals. Sometimes even nice dogs can bite if they're scared or lost. Maybe I should start wearing a cape. Well, Uncle Gadget, what do you think? It looks wonderful, Penny. Not as wonderful as what you've done. You saved the entire forest. Just doing my job, Penny. <laughs> well, I think helping to keep our woodlands growing is everybody's job. That's right, Penny. Fire and insects take their toll on our forest yearly. Yes, they're one of our most precious assets. Maybe more people should take time to plant a tree. Come, Penny. Time to go back. <laughs> Those termites are everywhere. Get it! Good boy, Brain. Ta-da! It's a birdhouse for our Blue Jay family. Go, go, Gadget Legs! Oh, birdies! Gadget, nature should always be viewed from a distance. It's safer for the animals and for the observer. That's right, Penny. Let this be a lesson to you. Say, what if I was to build a nice doghouse for you, Brain? 
<laughs> Maybe polka dots. So the people of Fuzz are no longer poor. Yes, Penny. Good thing they found that treasure. That's a nice sandcastle. But it needs a moat. Go, go, gadget, shovel. No! Wowzers, I got sand in my eye. Don't rub it, Uncle Gadget. I know, Penny. Keep it closed until the tears wash it out. Ah, that's better. But if that didn't work... Then you should pour cold water over the eye. Or pull your top eyelid outwards and over the bottom one. What about my castle? Don't worry, Penny. When you get it built again, I'll dig the moat. <sighs> that's my Uncle Gadget. Relax, Brain. This is good for you. It's important to take care of your dog's health. That's right, Penny. All dogs need to be cleaned and exercised. And you have to make sure they get the proper food. And like people, dogs need regular checkups, too. And now a yummy dog biscuit for Brain the Wonder Dog. Go, go, Gadget Arm! Gadget Arm, not skates! <laughs> I must get those gadgets fixed! Brain and I want to go swimming! One second, Penny, I just ordered a little snack! Wowzers! Take your time, Uncle Gadget! Phew! That was close! Choking on food is very serious and easy to do. I guess we should never rush when eating. That's right. That's the second thing I learned today, Penny. What was the first? To make sure no one picks your pocket. Wear clothes with no pockets. Uncle Gadget, are you going to a party? No, Penny. This is what I'm wearing when I go back to the quiz show. I'm going to try for a new toaster. Only it's difficult to see. Whoops! Wowzers! Wearing a mask or costume that makes it difficult to see is dangerous. Besides, you've already won a toaster. Well, I had a little trouble adjusting it. <laughs> and a special gold medal for best demonstrating the Olympic spirit. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm flattered. Remember, kids, snow sports provide us with good exercise and fun. But like any sport, you should be careful so you don't get hurt. Observe the rules. Remember, never ski by yourself. And always remember the principles of sportsmanship. And last but not least, never bring your dog to the ski slopes.